Alright guys, so for this particular video, I'm going to be talking about five anime from the upcoming winter 2015 season that I'm most anticipating. Now, this upcoming season isn't the biggest season. It doesn't have that that many titles that I'm really excited about, but I definitely found five that I'm interested in talking about. And I'm going to be listing them from five through one, the ones that I'm, you know, sort of, you know, kind of looking forward to, and then the ones that I'm most looking forward to. Let's jump into this. So coming in at number five is Assassination Class from now. I started reading the manga way when it very first came out, I read the first few chapters, and I think I read about like 20 chapters up to right now, and for the most part, it's pretty entertaining, it's not anything, you know, serious, you're not gonna get like amazing action pieces or anything, it's just basically about this squid, and he's threatened to blow up the world unless this classroom of kids can try to kill him or something along the lines of that, and it's kind of episodic in the way, but the characters are really interesting, and I think the best thing of reading it is basically the main character, Kuro Sensei himself, this basically alien guy with all these ten because he's the teacher and you can see that there's a little bit more to him than meets the eye it's like yeah he has a purpose for why he's doing this but we don't necessarily know why so it kind of makes it a little bit more intriguing and you can see that he has a good heart to himself so this threat on blowing up the world kind of makes you question like is it legit and if not why is he doing this and overall to be honest with you it's just really entertaining and i'm excited to see what they're going to do with the anime coming in at number four is death parade now i heard a little bit about it it's basically about gambling and it's people gambling for their lives if I'm correct and it's done by Madhouse and I saw some of the art and little promos and apparently there was some shorts for it as well and it was originally called Death Billiards so I'm looking forward to seeing what it is I mean at the end of the day madhouse baby and i've heard some inklings of what it can be like i think it's going to be somewhat episodic as well so i'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to do this and to be honest with you again i have a lot of faith in madhouse with what they've done recently i mean hunt the hunter 2011 speaks volumes but not just that parasite so i think they have a really good track record for me to trust them to go in with a small synopsis and see what they'll pull out which it'll probably be gold as well now coming in at number three is jojo's bizarre adventure stardust crusaders core two or part two season two whatever you want to call it they're coming back the gang is back at it again and i can't wait to see this because if you've seen the old ovas and whatnot they kind of look first of all really already aged like the art and animation has aged tremendously for those old ovas so it's going to be nice to be revisiting some of this content and just see some of these epic battles that's going to wrap up stardust crusaders for this remainder of the season because i'm like the stands the poses everything about jojo is fucking awesome and i can't wait to see these last 25 or 24 episodes of however long they're going to do for the season because i'm hyped like jojo's bizarre adventure i mean it's fucking awesome if you haven't seen it i definitely recommend starting from the beginning and checking it out coming in at number two is kuroko no basket season three i believe this is gonna wrap up everything i think they're gonna do all the remainder of the original manga in this one season so we can look forward to you know finishing this and i just i really love kuroko as far as like it is just very very enjoyable i remember watching it and i think i watched it all in like two cities or something like that it's very very enjoyable so for those people that are skeptical like oh it's a sports manga for starters it, it's just so much more than that i think that the perception of sports manga in general is just really horrible how people think oh why do i want to see a basketball dribbling it's far more than that the characters are interesting and entertaining the struggles that they have to go through the character development yeah crook on a basket i can't wait to wrap this bad boy up with season three and see some of that epicness because baby i'm in the zone and then last but not least i mean come on really if you know me and you've been watching me for a while, I think you know what I'm going to talk about. I think you know what came in number one from my most anticipated. I'm talking about that Tokyo Guru Root A. Tokyo Ghoul Root A, I am really just absolutely craving to see more of that Kaneki white-haired going motherfucking in what they're gonna do with this apparently original material that was written by Sui Ishida himself. It's like, I am just dying to see what they're gonna do and in a season that doesn't have too much tokyo ghoul route a easily took it for what i'm anticipating the most i mean i love tokyo ghoul so much i'm so glad like that season one came out i know a lot of people they had you know their problems with it or whatever i personally love the living shit out of it and i absolutely cannot wait for january 8th to start this bad boy because it's gonna feel so good let me know which anime you guys are looking forward to for winter 2015 season is there anything that i left out i know there's an anime by which studio the same creators of Attack on Titan that are going to be doing called Rolling Girls. I think that's supposed to be the name of it. I'm interested to see what they do, but 
based on what I've seen, like Hozuki no Reitetsu was another one they did, and I really didn't care for that one. I'll check it out at the very least, but I don't know if I'll really like it. I think Attack on Titan is just so good because of the source material and the production values, not necessarily anything that Wit did themselves as far as, you know, story-wise. And just, yeah, what do you think about the anime that I mentioned? Are any of those really high up on your list? I know Tokyo Ghoul, for the most part, is on everyone's, and likewise, probably with Kuroko, but Death Parade is something to definitely look forward to. If you love you some JoJo, then you cannot miss Stardust Crusaders, and Assassination classroom is going to be an interesting one as well but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed if you can do so as well that'd be awesome i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day